Hey, 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 awesome people. Mr. C back with another Fractions video. Make sure if you learn anything new at all, you click that like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. This video, we are going to be focusing on showing multiplication of fractions as repeated addition. And we are doing whole numbers times fractions just like for the fourth grade standard here also this is the practice problems video so if you missed the teaching video it is linked in the description and at the top right of the screen so check that out also in the description you will find everything we've done for second third fourth grade fractions check that out parents teachers i also want to direct you to the description because there are ixl links there for you two links, one for a seven day free trial and another one for 20% off your annual or monthly memberships. I have loved using this product in my classroom. It has been such a benefit for me, but really for my students to be able to have independent practice time, 15, 20 minutes, and for them to be able to track their learning. It is an awesome, awesome program. Check it out. Those links are in the description for a couple of offers for you. Well, with all that being said, we've got a couple practice problems I want to do showing multiplication as repeated addition when it comes to whole numbers times fractions. Let's go. Well, before we get started, make sure you have a growth mindset. We always say that, but a growth mindset means that you're challenging yourself. You're not giving up when you make a mistake. Uh, you know that making mistakes is a good thing. It helps your brain grow. You're asking good questions. You're staying involved. You're trying it on your own, so stick with it. Again, this is the practice problems video, so we'll move a little bit quicker in this. If you missed the teaching video, check it out. But here we go. We've got three times three-fourths. So let's show this as addition, okay? Our fraction's three-fourths, so we're going to be adding three-fourths how many times? How many times would you add three-fourths? Well, we're multiplying three-fourths times three, right? We're doing three times three-fourths. So what we're doing is we're taking three-fourths and we are technically adding three-fourths to itself three different times. So that is what we're going to show with this addition. Because again, multiplication is the same thing as repeated addition. Repeated addition, we're talking about adding the same number over and over and over again. In the case here, we're adding three fourths over and over and over again three times because we're doing three times three fourths. All of that being said, if we add this up, we never add the denominator, it stays the same. Add the numerators, three plus three is six, six plus three is nine. So when you multiply three times three fourths, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is the addition aspect of it. This is what it looked like. You would be taking three groups of three fourths and adding that together. And again, if you missed the models video, you need to check that out because we actually show you what that looks like. So parents, teachers, make sure your students can actually show you what this answer looks like. Students, show, prove it to yourself that you know what this answer looks like. Draw a picture, okay? This here is a really efficient way, but again, don't be just a calculator. Make sure you can see the work you're completing. So three times three fourths equals nine fourths, all right? And this is what it would look like with repeated addition. Where'd you make a mistake? Where are you confused? What doesn't make sense? Rewatch it if you need to, and then try this next one. I would love for you to try this one on your own before we get started, so feel free to pause it and try it on your own and then join me. So we've got seven times one sixth. So let's see what we've got going on here. We've got seven times one sixth, so our fraction is one sixth. So we've got one sixth, and we're going to be adding one sixth to itself how many times? Seven times. So I'm gonna list it out. There's two, there's a third time, there's a fourth time, there's a fifth time, 
and there's a sixth time, and there's a seventh time. Don't you love how like <laughs> how messed up that is? Look at that, the way I wrote it. I can't write in a straight line very well. It's something I have to keep practicing on. All right, so I've got one six. It should be seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Now denominator stays the same so it's gonna be six if you add all the numerators you get seven and you get an answer of seven six seven times one six equals seven six some of you may already be figuring out how we're getting this answer by just multiplying you're probably starting to figure it out but again, I want to make sure you understand that you could also find it with a repeated addition, and this repeated addition allows you to also see and draw a model. Okay, it just builds on itself. Okay, that's the cool thing about math is you can always build upon what you've learned. You just got to find where you're making your mistake at and go from there. All right. Answer here is 7, 6. A couple things I want to point out to you. If we had flipped this problem, so let's say that we would have had 1 6 times 7, we would have done the same thing. We would have taken 1 6 and multiplied it 7 times. We would have done that the same way. In this next problem, I'm going to show you something really similar to what I'm talking about. Okay, so get ready for this challenge. Before we move on to it, where did you make a mistake? Where are you confused at? What didn't make sense? Rewatch it. Ask a parent, ask a teacher, reach out to me. My contact information is at the end of this video. And then I've got one more for us. All right, so 7 tenths times 4. You'll notice that I have put the fraction before the whole number. So we've got the fraction times the whole number. Nothing's really going to change with how we're going to talk about repeated addition. Okay, nothing's really going to change. We've got 7 tenths, so that's our fraction. And we're going to add that four times. We're going to add 7 tenths to itself four times. Doesn't matter if I had written it the opposite way. We're still going to do the same uh, process here. We're going to do 7 tenths plus 7 tenths plus 7 tenths plus 7 tenths. Because what we're trying to figure out is what is 7 tenths times 4. Well, 7 tenths times 4 is the same thing as 7 tenths plus 7 tenths plus 7 tenths plus 7 tenths. Multiplication is just repeated addition, okay? So what's our answer here? Denominator is 10 and it stays at 10. Add the numerators and what do y'all get? 7, 14, 21, 28. So when we multiply, 7 tenths times 4, we get an answer of 28 tenths, or 28 over 10. All right. Again, 7 tenths, that's our fraction. We're multiplying it 4 times, so we are technically adding 7 tenths to itself 4 times. Some of you may be figuring out already the multiplication process, and that's great. For those of you that aren't quite there yet, that is totally fine. That's the reason we're showing you repeated addition. You will learn very quickly, very soon, what to do with the multiplication. And to understand what it looks like is really important. So if you're looking at this problem and you're not quite sure what it actually looks like, go back to our models video, watch it. Parents, teachers, don't let them skip over that part. Okay, our goal isn't for them to be calculators. Our goal is for them to deeply understand math, to see the math they are solving. All right, again, if you're confused, something doesn't make sense, you're lost, rewatch the video. My contact information is at the end of this video. Reach out to me. Let me know how I can help and support you. Also, parents, teachers, have them get on iXL. Those links are in the description below. Check those out. It is a great way to get some independent practice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you learned anything new at all, click that like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. That's all I have for you. Mr. C, out.